I spent 45 minutes before doing this video just finding the keys to this thing. And you're probably thinking, okay, well, what do you mean finding the keys to your car? Like you lost them? No, the car just didn't lock. You see, when the key fob, this key fob gets near this car, it unlocks the doors. It's supposed to lock them when you leave. When you walk away, the horn beeps and the doors are locked. For some reason, this car didn't do that. The keys were downstairs where I work. And then I go downstairs and I'm like, how the hell are they here and I'm able to get in my car? And that's scary because what if it doesn't work and I'm in a public place? Somebody can get into my car. But that's classic 90s GM engineering. Shit that works, but not very well. Oh, and then you got, oh, I went to um, Katie's Cars and Coffee this morning. If any of you guys came looking for me at Katie's Cars and Coffee, I'm sorry that you didn't see me. Um, I come there at like six in the morning. I'm there at 6.20 and then I was recording a couple things and I left at 7.30. I was just deadbeat and I, um, I had to get home. And then when I'm driving back from that, the roof decided it didn't feel like being bolted in anymore. For the past couple weeks, I've been dealing with a really horrible rattling noise up here. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't hear this noise when I take the roof off. It must be, you know, something's not bolted down right, right? That makes the most sense. So what do I do? I take the roof off. You know, we pull over, we take the roof off, okay. I notice this clamp that's loose. And I'm like, oh, okay, it's a loose clamp. That must be the fix. We tighten the clamp up, we put the roof back on. Needless to say, the roof did not bolt back on. And here's the next question. How could it not bolt back on? It's just four bolts. No, it's not, because this is what GM did. They put two bolts in the back, one and two here, that you actually screw in. And then the other two are screws that are already in, like the actual, in the plastic. And these screws, they stay there, and you have to screw them in, they have to, you have to make a screw hole that's on the roof. By far one of the dumbest designs in the world, because if that little adapter plate that I tighten gets off of center of where it was originally, you can't bolt the roof back on. I spent over 45 minutes on the side of the road with my friend Mo, just trying to get this to work while we're sweating our asses off. And we couldn't just put the roof in the hatch because we had a whole bunch of camera equipment behind us. So onto the title of this video. Um, the title of this video says, my car was in a music video. The answer is yes. Yes, it was. When I got this car, I'm talking like three days after it's in Maryland, okay? I'm sitting at a music shop. I dropped my friend off. He was taking a music lesson. And some guy, you know, he runs up to the back of my car. I guess he was getting some, you know, stuff for his instrument, whatever. Um, but he runs up to my car and no joke, this is exactly what he says. Yo, that's a nice fucking car. And this goes on, you know, for about, you know, 10, 15 minutes and looking at it, checking it out, asking what year it is. It's in great condition, yada, yada, yada. Thank you for complimenting my car. Um, eventually he said, he looked at me and he, he says, are you doing anything tonight by chance? And I'm thinking, um, why? <laughs> he says, I am a manager for a music group that's doing a music video tonight, and they're looking for a car to use for the shoot. You wouldn't want to make a couple hundred bucks, would you? And I look at my friend Jason, because at this point he's back in the seat, and I'm like, I, I, money is money, like, I don't care. So I get in contact with these guys, and you know, they're telling me about what they're doing for the music video, and I end up making about 250 bucks off this deal. These guys, you know, they're just rappers trying to make a name for themselves. But these guys were, you know, um, a little bit on the quote unquote ratchet side and did like the, you know, ghetto rap. And that's fine. If that's what you're into, that's what you're into. And my dad was beyond scared. He was just like, um, um, I want to come with you. I want to see this stuff. I want to see what these guys are doing. And I was assuring him, like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. He ended up just coming with us to, like, where I eventually met up with the guy, and the guy talked to my dad, which was really cool, you know, of him. And then we went to shoot. And just like that, I had some rapper standing in front of my car, you know, talking about bitches and hoes and fucking and drinking, all of that great shit. Yeah, and he never drove the car. Hell no, I never let him drive the car. He just sat in it and, you know, made it look pretty. And of course, of course, the classic pop-up headlight shot was in there. And they, they were asking me, like, you know, could we do, a, like, some kind of, like, peel out? And I didn't really want to do that because at that time I had never screeched the tires before. So I wasn't exactly comfortable with doing that. 
But they said, could you just like accelerate real fast out? Because they had a drone that they wanted to fly up. And as I'm driving away, the drone is like slowly going up, which I thought, you know, that's a cool shot. I don't know what came over me. You know, I don't know what was sparked. I don't know if I just got real jittery, but I gave it way too much gas and I just ended up dumping the clutch. And you know, traction control was off when I did this. So the thing, you know, did a beautiful peel out and it's in the video and it looks cool. It's just, it was completely unnecessary. And when I did, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, it was definitely an interesting feeling, feeling the tires slip, um, you know, under me intentionally or what, uh, what not. What am I doing? I gotta go straight here, the light's green. Anyway, I'm gonna link the video um, in the description. You guys can go look at it if you want. If you're not into that kind of music, that's fine, whatever. But I just find it funny, you know, you can look at my car, you know, a little while ago. It looks, you know, obviously it looks no different. But it's just interesting to see other people in front of my car, you know, acting like it's their car. <laughs> yeah, that car wasn't a music video. Cross that off the bucket list. <laughs> also, guys, I hope you enjoyed the drone footage. Um, I got as much as I could, not only because before the battery died, but before the, um, in Washington, D.C., there's a million no-fly zones, and the company DJI limits where you can fly, um, depending on your area, if it's a no-fly zone. It literally, when you start the propellers, it, sa it says you can't fly here, and it won't let you take off. And this isn't a problem in, you know, rural areas or, you know, other places, but in Washington, D.C., you know, they're not exactly, they don't want people flying those things. I can't fly on 355. Anywhere down 355 North, Jimmy can't fly that thing. So I gotta find a fix around that. I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's really kind of annoying that I can't fly it there because it limits where I can fly it. When I went to Carson Coffee, I tried to fly it. And in Virginia, you can't fly it because supposedly there's like a nuclear power plant nearby. What? <laughs> Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like. Tell me what you think in the comments if you have any suggestions for me. I like suggestions. Even if they're, you know, saying that I drive like an idiot, you know, it's all appreciated. Go ahead. If you're watching this for the first time and you got this far, you probably want to subscribe because obviously you enjoyed this to some degree and my other videos are like this. They're this entertaining and, I, and they're, they're this stupid. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. You have a good day.